Hi there, welcome to tutorial 7, uh, the first one of the tutorials fully dedicated to, to turbulence modeling. Okay, for now on, we're not going to go into details regarding geometry generation or meshing. I'm going to give you pre manufactured cases, and sometimes I'm going to give you also the work, workbench uh, case where you're going to follow geometry mesh and you will be able to modify everything. In any case, uh, let's talk about this case. This is a classical turbulence modeling case. Okay, this is the turbulent flow pass a backward facing the step. So, what we have here, the flow entering here, you have this step here, then you will have uh, separation and you have this recirculation region here. Okay, so you're going to have a retachment point. So, in this case, what we're going to do is test different turbulence models. Also, we can play around with the meshes. I'm giving you a few different meshes to see the, the influence you know, of the turbulence model as well as the mesh. And I'm going to give you a few, uh, a few guidelines, okay, regarding, uh, regarding meshing and post processing. Uh, in any case, here you, you, you have a few links, okay, where you can find more information regarding this case okay also you have the original reference okay for this uh, experiment uh, there is plenty of the numerical exper experimental data okay so what we're going to do we're going to run and we're going to to, to, to compare the numerical re results against the experimental result for the wall shear stresses here, but you will find data also regarding velocity profiles. So this is what we have. We have the geometry, and this is the initial mesh. This is the first mesh that we're going to run. So as you see, it's a very nice mesh, okay? So this is a structure type but you can use also in structure, fully triangular, polyhedral, whatever, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, see that we have a nice extraction here towards the wall, so this is a wall resolving mesh, but then we're going to, to play around as well with wall modeling options, okay? And here we look at the results. So we have the velocity field. See that we're predicting very well here the recirculation area. See here that we have a string surface instance. So here you have recirculation. Here you have also secondary secondary uh, recirculation or the vortex here, the secondary vortex. So somewhere here you have the reattachment point. Then we can look also as velocity vectors. Again, you can appreciate better here you know the recirculation region and the secondary one and somewhere here you will have the reattachment point so here is we're looking for this point visually but there are some other techniques that like you can look at the wall shear stresses in the x direction and when it becomes negative you know that there is yeah you have that point uh talking about uh about the mesh, mesh quality, or mesh resolution. We talk about in the first lectures about the, the, the refinement ratio. So here we're plotting this quantity and remember that you can compute the refinement ratio using uh, integral scales and the integral scales you compute it using a two equation model. Okay, so in this case, we're using the k epsilon, and this is how you can compute integral scale. You put it here, this quantity can be computed in fluent. We're going to see that, and this will go in, uh, is going to give you the, the, this metric, okay? And the minimum, let's say, for run simulations to get good results, and in the limit on the scale resolve simulation will be five, ideally 10. So in this case, we're plotting and see that the value that you have here is something about two, okay? So, or probably 2.5, a little bit higher, but it's not good enough. So see here that this, this quantity, this metric is already giving you a good reference Okay, where you need to refine the mesh. And as you can see here, you will realize that it's true what it's telling. Okay, so you see that it's telling you that here you need finer meshes and see how it's stretched here. Okay, so by the way, you use this criterion in the core of the flow. Towards the wall, you are going to use Y plus as, uh, as we have seen. So see that here, you will need a little bit more refinement here. It is okay. But this is how you can you, you can get an estimate how good or how bad is your mesh, okay? By computing these integral scales, then we can we are going to plot uh, the shear stresses at the wall, okay? So you have the experimental, and see here two results. So see that here, even if you see that capture a trend, you can do much better. And see that here we have a good, very good agreement. And the difference here is exactly the same mesh that we mesh that we saw at the beginning. But here, what we have boundary conditions, two different boundary conditions, just to show you the influence, okay, of boundary conditions and similar behaviors you will have using a different uh, uh, initial conditions. Then we do the classical plot, okay, the low of the wall, okay. Remember, you can 
do this in any case. The only requirement is that remember where you do the sample, the flow must be fully developed. Okay. And it can, and ideally shouldn't be in a recirculation area. Otherwise this profile will, will separate. Okay. So see that we have a very good agreement. Even here, the mesh is not see that we're putting the first cell center here about 10. So this is not properly well resolved. So we can do much better closer, closer to the wall. But nevertheless, see that the low, low region is very well, uh, resolved. And that's all. Okay. So this is the case that we're going to work it out in the folders that you, you, you can download. You will find here the world's bank case, which is this one. Okay. Here. So see here that you have the geometry and you have different meshes and the, the fluent meshes. So see that you have a structure, fine mesh, a structure, quartz mesh, and a structure, fine and quartz mesh. Okay. So here you have different meshes. So you can modify this one to get something finer or quartz. So it's up to you. And also you will find there the i will give you uh the meshes already converted and the settings okay so you get the so for those that are not using this version of fluent the 20 the 21 you can download the meshes okay and then you have the setting files that you can set up the case automatically okay it might happen that some actions is going they are going to give you some problems because this is the setting used in 2021, but it doesn't matter in all versions. Those options that doesn't exist, it won't take that. It will give you a warning. So that's all uh, for for this case, for the presentation. So later in, for, in, in successive videos, uh, we're going, I'm going to show you how to run this case and do some post processing. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.